I host a lot of my own infrastructure. Why do I do this? I do this because I don't want to have to rely on the other people's things and stuff. Big companies having all my data. I don't like that. I'm sure you're probably similar. I'm sure you th also think I don't want to be paying for someone to look after all my data that they then just sell anyway to advertisers. That doesn't sound very good. No, it doesn't. It's not good. Self-host your own things. I'm going to talk to you about what I self-host and then in a future video I'm going to talk about how I self-host it. First of all, I host my own cloud. This is like a Dropbox, OneDrive, Office 365 equivalent. It's called Next Cloud, uh, and here it is. This is what it looks like. So this is a web interface, and it also syncs all my files. That's the main thing. So you can see recommended files. These are the most recent files. This is a video that I've recorded. This is the script for this video. But I'm not going to click around in here because I might show you things I don't want you to see. This does all my handles all my files. You see, it's got a calendar up here. My contacts uh, activity. This is like what I've changed recently. All my photos. So every every photo I take from my phone automatically gets uploaded here these are all my files so and that's what it does Look, it even tells me the weather I literally set that up just now but you can do so much here so it can track my phone if I want it to uh, this is amazing software it's really really good uh, and next I also self host sort of my own media empire I do have I do use Plex and I, I also use mini DLA as well like I made the video on that one but I do use Plex for things like outside my house right that gives a nice interface for all your films right it's a bit like Netflix I actually manage my files on Plex, I use Sonar ra and Radar. So this is Sonar here, and as you can see, all you do if you want to download something, you just click Add Series, you type in the series name, Mr. Bean, uh, and then it searches for it, and you're like, oh, that is the one I want, and then you just click Add, and then that'll go and search whatever you've configured to go look for this media out on the internet, or, you know, I've configured it to go and buy it off Amazon officially. Wink. Sonar, the same thing for movies as well, so, Big Buck Bunny search. Um, I've already got it, obviously. Best film of all time. But then this goes and then talks to a downloading client. This goes and talks to Transmission on my Plex server. I'm using Transmission Demon, which so it basically just runs in the background. And then you configure inside Sonar and or Radar, you basically configure it to talk to Transmission Demon here. And you see it's running on localhost. So Sonar, Plex, and Transmission and Radar all run on localhost. And then it just goes and talks to it. And it's like, okay, I'll go talk to it. And then download things from legitimate websites. That's why that's that mini DLN, DLN, DLNA, like I said, I actually do still use that all the time when I'm watching something inside my local network. Media Wiki, so this is the software that Wikipedia runs, but I use it myself, my own little infrastructure. So you see here I've got my own knowledge base here. You know, when I was studying for the RHCSA, I made some stuff here. Uh, and if we want to gain access to a locked system, this is what you have to do. Wow. Um, let's look, click random page. Useful commands. Okay, what useful command do we want to learn about? We want to learn about pwgen. Use the file as a password to see if you want. Which I don't do anymore, but I thought that was really cool back in the day. I was like, oh, I can search for this file is actually a hash for a password. So you just run this pwgen command and search for, well, in this case it was Supernaut by Black Sabbath, which is a tune. That's, I also host, speaking of music, I host Ampachi here. This is software that lets you... Uh, it's, I've talked about it a bit before, but it's kind of like your own Spotify. So I've got my own Spotify here, so I can go like, uh, albums here, um, pull up a bunch of albums that I've got, uh, anything interesting here, trending, this is what I've been listening to recently, um, but you can sort of see my music taste here, we can put on, uh, Motorhead, there you go. I host all my websites myself. This is my own website running on my own infrastructure. All these websites here I already host myself. So this is all running on my own infrastructure. Not too interesting and you probably knew that. But I also host my own analytics because I don't like Google Analytics here. So this is the analytics for that website we were just on. My own website. You can see every day I get two visits. But the reason why I really like hosting my own analytics myself is that Google will do it for free, but then if Google does it for free, you're just giving Google data for free. Don't do that. Don't do that, lads. Um, but this is using Matomo, and this is all stored on a database on my server, so it's very secure and very safe. Your data is safe with me. Trust me. So I self-host my own VPN. I use OpenVPN. I probably want to change that to WireGuard eventually, and I also self-host uh, all my backups. I don't pay for a backup service. Uh, so yeah, that's what I self-host. Coming up, I'm going to do a video on how to set up your own Nextcloud, and also one on how I self-host. So my infrastructure, what I use. Subscribe or Google will sell more of your data than you actually are giving it, which is probably doing already.